Hello, everybody. I'm delighted that we can get together once again. I have mentioned on a couple of occasions that uh, each weekday and weekends, Father Timon and our deacons, John and Bill and myself, get together and celebrate the Eucharist. Last weekend was Pentecost Sunday, the coming of the Holy Spirit. Last weekend, if you remember also, that Sunday, it was the day after the eruptions, the disruptions that happened in the city of Rochester. So that was on our mind, plus the pandemic. And as we sat down to talk about the scripture readings and the Feast of Pentecost, somebody said, where is the Holy Spirit in the midst of all this? Where is the Spirit of God in the midst of all that is going on in our society, uh, in our, right in our own our own city, and that's a legitimate question. Uh, way back in the book of Genesis, when things were going poorly, the people said, "Is God in our midst or not?" And that may be the question that we want people might ask today: Is God in our midst or not? I'd like to share just a few situations in which I think the Spirit of God is truly in our midst, although at times we may not recognize the Spirit of God because the Spirit may be speaking in different languages or looking in, in different ways than we might anticipate God would appear to us. Last Saturday evening, after tumult had calmed down. The leaders of our city, our mayor, our county executive, the sheriff, the police chief, had a news conference. And lovely Warren, our mayor, said, I am asking for the citizens of Rochester to come out tomorrow morning and be here at 10 o'clock at Frontier Field and to begin to clean up and to rebuild our city. I don't know if you saw the Monday morning paper, the headline in the paper. It said, thousands came out to repair the damage done by hundreds. In point of fact, at 10 o'clock at Frontier Field, over 2,000 people came out to begin to repair damage. And I was told that there were over a hundred people that were at Bull's Head and people came to North Clifton Avenue and to Arondequoit and Greece and Henrietta. Friends, to me, that is where the Spirit of God was. The Spirit of God was in all of those men and women showed up to undo the damage that had been done by so many. That is a place where the Spirit of God was. I want also to suggest that the news conferences that the leaders of our city and county had, both on Saturday and on Sunday, if you can think back, the message that they were speaking was one of coming together each of them said, it's not a question of white and black, it's a question of us as a unit. Remember what St. Paul said, there is neither Jew nor Greek, slave nor free, male or female, all are one in Christ Jesus. Those leaders of our community were speaking biblical truths in secular terms. The Spirit of God truly, I believe, was in those leaders as they were trying to bring us to a new level of understanding. Now you may say, okay, but how about all the violence that's going on in the shouting? Absolutely, violence is not of God. Violence is the work of the evil one, Satan, however you want to describe it. Violence does not come from God. That does not, however, preclude the fact that sometimes 
the Spirit can speak with strong language. For example, do you remember when Jesus went into the temple area and he saw the money changers who were basically defrauding people, taking advantage of the poor? Do you remember what he did? He threw over their tables and threw them out of the temple. Can you imagine the chaos? Can you imagine the noise that must have happened then? In other words, sometimes the Spirit of God uses strong language because the Spirit needs to catch our attention. I want to also talk about the Spirit of God being present in the men and women who are attempting to bring healing to those who have been attacked by this coronavirus. Every day, the men and the women going in to our hospitals, our nursing homes, I am sure when they go in, they're anxious, they're fearful. It is the Spirit of God that gives them the courage to go and to bring the healing love of our God. That is how the Spirit of God is present to us in our day. And the Spirit of God is present to young people who look after their families, their aging parents, and try to make sure that they have enough food and supplies so they don't have to go out and endanger their health and well-being. And the Spirit of God is with parents who are working at home, trying to help little kiddos with their schoolwork, or maybe have been laid off. Never doubt the Spirit of God is in those situations. Where there is goodness, where there is a love, where there is a reaching out, the Spirit of God is present. And so for each of us, as we're going through these very uncertain times, St. Augustine in the 400s said words that I think are very appropriate for us. St. Augustine said, no matter wherever you may be on the earth at this moment, no matter how long you live on this earth, don't be anxious. God is near. Thanks, everybody. I hope we can get together next week. And until then, peace. Thank you.